This course has been authored by a qualified expert and is delivered in a self-paced format. It's been designed to help you accelerate the mastery and retention of the concepts and skills using a structured learning plan, interactive content, knowledge checks, access to live support, and much more. Hello everybody and welcome to a course with Python and the web. Basically this is going to be a crash course for all things Python and interacting with the internet. So who am I? My name is Harrison. I have been programming Python for over six years and I've also been teaching Python tutorials for over three years. I also run multiple businesses that use Python both in the front end either for the website or even in the back end for the actual data processing and analysis and all. Python makes a great language for interacting with the, with the web. It's also a great data and analysis uh, programming language. It's really just in my opinion, the best programming language. It's extremely simple to learn, it's easy to program with it, and it's honestly a lot of fun. So here in our series, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to start pretty slow so anybody who is not familiar with Python can kind of jump on the bandwagon with us. So we'll go through the basics, we'll do it pretty fast, we'll get your feet wet. You're not gonna become any sort of professional web developer by jumping through the basics with us, but it will give you the tools that you need to carry on with the rest of the series. So we'll be talking about the structure, HTML, a little bit of CSS, some XML, and uh, then we're gonna talk about doing, using databases within your actual web application, whatever that might be. We'll be talking about it in, in regards to actually having a web server ourselves. We'll talk a little bit about setting up our own static HTML website, mostly so we can get comfortable again with H, just using pure HTML and understanding how HTML is gonna work. And then we'll start easing into actually creating our own website using the Python web framework Flask. So we'll be going pretty much full circle here from starting as basically someone who's trying to just access the internet to being the internet that is being accessed. And we're gonna be doing all of this with the Python programming language. So if that sounds exciting to you, then that's good. That's what we're gonna be covering. It's exciting to me, so I'm gonna be really happy to be going through all this stuff with you all. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Enroll now for lifetime access to this course, a certificate of completion, and access to live support whenever you need it.